welcome. Here we are on the downtown area. There's the famous pawn shop from the TV show, of course. I'm doing this video because uh, I was asked, what is downtown like? What is the uh, Fremont like? And well, here we go. Going to show you a little bit of uh, how the closure is affecting our downtown area, which is completely shut down, I guess. Fast forward through all this is a little bit of driving from the pawn shop itself to the actual downtown. Here we are on Fremont Street. Uh, the experience is to the left, but I'm going to be turning right and showing you a little bit of uh, old downtown right here. This is uh, the original area, the El Cortez on the side, which you'll see when I turn around. Uh, this is where all the bars and clubs and restaurants are. At least some of them. That used to be the old jail. Uh, now it's a club venue. And here we are coming up on Container Park. It's a uh, little shopping center fully made with uh, shipping containers, recycling them. There in the front you see, I believe it's a praying mantis, but uh, when it's actually open, it actually spits fires from its antenna. I'm not sure every half hour to an hour. It's uh, actually pretty cool. So we continue driving here. Here's the old uh, western. It's a dinky little uh, casino, but uh, it's part of downtown. It's pretty cool. New building here called the Fremont Nine actually pretty nice they are cleaning up this area right here atomic uh, liquors atomic is a nice little bar it's been there forever uh, since the days of atomic testing that's why it's called atomic the golden goose uh, sign I don't know if you saw it there on the right that was from the golden goose uh, gentlemen's club that used to be on Fremont experience all right, here we're traveling back towards the Fremont experience. Um, like I said, they're trying to fix this area up, clean this area up. This is uh, the area that usually gets closed for the Life is Beautiful uh, festival. They have, uh, even though the motel that was here on the right is gone, the sign is still up. And this is Vegas. We try to maintain our old signage and stuff. But yeah, what is... Uh, different is that it's so quiet and so empty when you uh, go around this area not it's a uh, usual lively uh, drunken bunch as we would see normally see the slipper there I forgot what uh, casino that was from but like I said we try to maintain our old signs and we do have a neon museum we we're coming up on the El Cortez, which is one of the originals here from downtown. Seen it in a lot of uh, different movies and whatnot. The lights are still flashing and everything, but of course it's empty. That structure you see in front of you, the uh, that looks like scaffolding or staircase or whatnot, that's what we call Slotzilla. It is a zip line that goes from one side of the Fremont Experience to the other side of the Fremont Experience. I forgot how long it is, but it's uh, about, what, four blocks long, five blocks long? There's the Heart Attack Grill. Interesting little place. Main entrance for the El Cortez. Gold Spike. Originally it was a casino uh, and a rundown hotel and they've uh, actually cleaned it up, fixed it up and now it's more of a uh, venue. They got music and clubs and bars and uh, 
There's a couple other YouTubers that have made videos there, and I'm sure I will be making one uh, in the near future. And there on the right side is the expansion for the downtown Grand Casino. So as we pass it on, this is the back side of the Fremont Experience. The Fremont Experience is on the left. That pizza rock on the right hand side, delicious. You guys come downtown, check that place out. Turn down uh, one of the streets here that's going to pass uh, through the Fremont Experience. The Fremont Experience was the original downtown, and of course, it's closed to traffic now, except on these uh, cross streets, and the rest of it is covered with a canopy that it's the largest screen in the world, they say. It's an LED con uh, LCD canopy. Here we are passing Binion's and the Fremont and the Four Queens and the Golden Nugget is completely dark. And these uh, three cars that you see here are all uh, City of Las Vegas Marshals. Keeping the peace. As you can see, the Fremont is closed. They got barriers up with security at each street. Making sure uh, I'm guessing homeless people or looters don't try to go through and uh, do some damage. But this area, it's not late at night. It's uh, usually full with people. Even on the weekday, it's uh, very crowded. Party's always going on, live music is always going on. This building you see right here with the blue lights and everything, that is our new city hall. Uh, you'll see the old one shortly, but that's City Hall. That's uh, pretty nice and colorful and whatnot, as you would expect uh, from Las Vegas, full of lights. And this right here is the old City Hall, actually. Um, it is now the Zappos headquarter. Zappo has taken a, a very big interest in downtown and uh, actually uh, cleaned it up a lot and they're uh, doing uh, several projects to beautify our uh, downtown area. We're very happy that they are uh, helping out, cleaning up. And this right here circling around to the main area of uh, Fremont. And, uh, there are double-decker buses that travel the Strip. Of course, they're empty right now because uh, there's not many people going on the Strip. Did see a couple buses earlier from uh, other parts of town that were uh, pretty crowded. And there's the black fencing covering up, uh, letting people know that the uh, Fremont experience is closed. A lot of construction is going on. They're taking uh, full advantage of the fact that uh, the closures have freed up the streets and everything and decided, hey, we'll just uh, get all this work done. Right there on the front to the right where those red lights are, that's the second White Castle that was built in the uh, Las Vegas area. On the right here we have the D Hotel. Great name, don't you think? Anyway, that concludes our video. 
If you've enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and uh, hit that like button and leave a comment if you'd like, and please share this video with others. Thank you for uh, stopping by and checking us out. Y'all have a good night.